Uh, BlackBerry 10, this is the Dev Alpha unit. These are the units that we've given out to 6,000 plus developers globally at our 45 plus uh, uh, BlackBerry 10 Jam events where we've you know, worked with developers to, make, to allow them to bring applications to BlackBerry. So that's what I'm using, not final hardware. For that, it's coming on the January 30th event. Uh, so we're going to talk about uh, BlackBerry 10. So quickly, this is the, uh, the BlackBerry 10 home screen. Pretty standard stuff, your notifications, date, time, press and hold the camera icon to launch the camera if you want to take a picture. But to get into BlackBerry 10, you just swipe up from the bottom here. It has this kind of really nice uh, follow your finger effect from that uh, perspective. You can swipe uh, right here to see all the other applications that are preloaded. If you're uh, in an application, you can swipe up from the bottom to see your notifications and then pull to the right to peek at the BlackBerry Hub. If you want to go back to the application, you just reverse the gesture or you just follow through and now you're in the BlackBerry Hub. So BlackBerry Hub is essentially your unified inbox. It's where all of that information comes together. Your personal email, your work email, social integration, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, all in one location. Those messages, you get other notifications from those accounts as well. So if a friend tags you as a photo on Facebook, you get that notification that comes directly into the hub itself. Uh, BBM, text messages, all from there. Me, I'm a bit of a Twitter guy. You know, if someone mentions me on Twitter, I get that mentioned directly into the hub itself. And then, additionally, we wanted to make sure that because users spend so much time in the hub, a quick pull down from the top allows them to see their upcoming events for the day. So I can see my events, tap on the event, get details about the event itself, go over, see the people, see emails associated with that event itself, and then from there, additionally, see conversations or, or contacts with that event as well. So I've gone from messaging to calendar to contacts very, very easily and smoothly. I didn't have to leave the context of the hub to go into the calendar. I then didn't have to leave the calendar to go into the contacts app application. This is what we call BlackBerry Flow. The ability to go from one application to the next seamlessly, effortlessly, and easy. Next, we talk a little bit about the BlackBerry keyboard. BlackBerry keyboard is going to be the best keyboard on a touchscreen device. First, it's really great at the, the software and the hardware integration, so you can really type, type really, really fast. So as you can see, I'm typing. Next, it's also great for one-handed use. So as I begin typing a sentence, it's actually predicting what I want based on what I've typed before, but it's also looking at the sentence and using contextual prediction to think about what's coming next. So as I'm typing, with my one hand, I can also just flick up on a word and send that to the screen. So I can now, because of the contextual prediction and the one hand and, and the flick gesture, I can begin typing those sentences quickly and easily. Today is going to be a good day. It's very easy to use the BlackBerry keyboard. This is the keyboard that BlackBerry users are going to love as it's the keyboard they're accustomed to from even our physical products. BlackBerry Browser, of course, a great area for us as well for BlackBerry 10. This is going to be a leading browser in the mobile space when we launch with BlackBerry 10. This is already a higher performance browser than not only mobile browsers to date, tablet browsers, and desktop browsers. So what does that mean to the end user at the end of the day? A great browsing experience for all their websites out there, of course. BlackBerry World, the one-stop location for all of your content. The latest, hottest apps and games, music, movies, TV shows, using a single BlackBerry ID account, all tied to single payment method, whether it's credit card, PayPal, or carrier billing. And with us, we have a relationship with 50 carriers globally for carrier billing, making it easy for users to download, pay for content effortlessly. Next, we have our time shift feature, which is a great way for users to capture moments. So here, I'm going to capture a quick picture of Patty. And as you see, I can go 
forward or backwards in time on the picture to capture that moment. Or I can tap on her face, it does face detection. I had a bit of an error there, that's okay. Now I'm final software. So I could have tapped on her face, let's try that again. Close the browser for a second. Hi buddy. Hi. We love you. Yeah. <laughs> That's what they all say. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. So I <laughs> yeah. can tap on her face. I can go forward and backwards in time on her face to capture that moment. So there she's cursing me with her brushed yes. lips. <laughs> and there she's like, oh, not again. So we'll capture that. We'll save it. And I can quickly peek at that photo and then just go back to the camera. And lastly, we want to make sure that we, we continue the heritage of BlackBerry in the enterprise. Uh, well, over the last three years, uh, there's been a really big trend of bring your own device into the workplace. So BlackBerry 10 will be ready for that trend when it launches. So with a simple pull down, I can go into work mode. And from this, I see all my applications that are specific to work. I can even launch a BlackBerry world for work which has a catalog of applications that my IT administrator has said these are acceptable for you to use. From there, as you can see, I have two versions of the of BlackBerry World running. One is the personal one, one is the work one, all running at the same time, but keeping my work data safe and secure. Now, it's getting to be Friday night, I want to relax a little bit, not think about work on a Friday night as we like to. I simply just lock BlackBerry Balance. BlackBerry World for work is locked. If I go back into the BlackBerry Hub, I no longer see my work emails inside BlackBerry Hub. Only personal stuff. So I can continue communicating with my friends and family, planning my uh, weekend, but not have to worry about what's happening at work. That is a quick, quick tour of BlackBerry 10. Any questions?